Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So last weekend was my dad's birthday and I made this no bake mango cheesecake for him. It turned out really well, so I'm going to share this recipe with you guys. So I'm starting by boiling 1 liter of milk. This is full fat milk. I am adding fresh cream to it. I'm using Amul. You can use any brand you like. We will bring this to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, we will switch off the flame. After that, we will add about 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Once you add lemon, our milk will slowly start to curdle. The yellow liquid that you see is called whey and the white granules are called paneer. Here I am separating the whey and the paneer. Do not throw away the whey. It is an excellent source of protein and it can be used to knead your chapatis. Pouring water over the paneer will help you remove all the citrusy flavor from the paneer. We will keep this aside for 15 minutes so that the water and the paneer get separated. We are now making the cream cheese. In a blender, I am adding the paneer that we made. Pinch of salt and we will blend it together. So to make it very creamy, you can even add little bit of whey so that it gives a really velvety and creamy texture. This is how you can make cream cheese at home. However, for the lazy ones, I'm gonna link store-bought cream cheese in the description below. Refrigerate this for at least 2 hours for the next step. Uh, next step is the base of the cake. For that we will need biscuits. About 15 to 20 biscuits. We are going to crush them really fine in the blender. Add melted butter or ghee and uh, mix it together.
For making cheesecake, you will require a spring form pan which will enable you to remove the cheesecake easily. So I'm going to add melted butter and biscuit mixture to the pan and I'm going to press it down. You can use anything that is flat to press it down. Press it down from the sides as well so that the layers can be seen easily. Refrigerate this for about an hour or two. We will now begin with the next step which is the cheesecake filling. For that I am taking 3 tablespoons of vegetarian gelatin. I am going to link one below so that you can find it easily. Add half cup of cold water and keep it aside for 15 minutes. In a stand mixer, I am adding 2 cups of cream cheese. You can even use a hand mixture for this recipe. I am adding 1 cup of powdered sugar. Blend this till it all comes together. Next, we'll add one cup of cream. Next, we'll add one and a half cup of mango puree. One teaspoon vanilla extract. The gelatin that we had dissolved in water must have turned thick. We will microwave this gelatin for about 15 seconds and then we will add it to our mixture. Blend everything together so that you get a really nice creamy texture. Sweet. Check for the sweetness. Uh, I couldn't stop at one. It was so good. We will pour the batter over the biscuit mixture. We will keep this in the refrigerator for about 2-3 hours or preferably overnight. For the decoration of the cake, I am going to keep it very simple and I am going to garnish it with fresh mangoes. For that, I am going to cut the sides of the mangoes. Scoop out with the help of a spoon.
cut very thin slices You can just follow how I have done here. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm coming up with more recipes. Until then, bye!